Why didn't you bring the bucket? Why you didn't bring the bucket? Two batteries and a worm. You ought to see this giant crawfish. Ooh, a tung tungsten weight, dude. Really? Yeah. Tungsten weight, two batteries, and a giant crawfish. Huh? I got something else. Now, what the heck that is? Oh, that's from a... That's a... Rabbit ears for your motor. A slinky. They might have slinkied it all the way down the hill. What you got? Oh, that's a cool crankbait. Yeah, I gotta actually clean that one too. Very cool, man. Like a little deep end. I mean, not a little deep end, a little bit. Mm -hmm. I got something else. Cool. Don't be dropping my tungsten weight, please. What is that? I got a spark plug and then something. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you joking? Where was it? Like, it was, was it out? out in the middle. Bro, that's our fourth knife. Fifth. I think a fourth. I don't know. Uh, dude, you don't, dude, don't be running with those knives, dude. That's awesome. Let's go. Them, let's go home. No. Sweet. Do not drop it in the water. Put it in the bucket. Drop it. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Carlo's gonna die. Hey, let me send a picture and send to Carlo. Hold it up. Awesome. What Carlo have to say about yesterday? He said, holy crap, y'all hit the jackpot. Eli, dude, what'd you think whenever you pulled that sucker up? I freaked out and I started, I yelled at you. I heard something. I got a good hook. Freaking awesome, dude. Eli. Caught you a knife today, or yesterday. That was knife number four. And we pulled out all our other knives. There they are. Um. How about that top one, Eli? Tell us uh, who caught it and where we caught it. Um, I caught that at, at Terrio. Terrio Boat time. Launch. I think that After was the first knife we ever got, mm -hmm. right? No, uh, uh, that one or this one. We're pretty sure. sure that's a murder weapon. It looks like a homemade handle. Okay, the next one. Oh, that's the one you just Here's caught. And we caught that at, uh, at White Oak. Okay, the next one. Found that at the oh, Dad got that at the houseboat. Yep, that's mine. I got that off the front of the houseboat. It's not one of our knives, so don't know. It didn't look like it'd been out too long. Okay, and then the last one. Knife with the keychain. A knife connected to a keychain, and it just kind of rusted off. But where'd we get that one? Um, at Sam Houston. I think. Yeah, the Sam Houston boat launch, and I got that one. That was, I think, one of the first one or the second one we got. Yeah. But I don't know, man. We hadn't been fat, uh, magnet fishing for too many years, and four knives. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure next is gonna be a gun, Oops. something valuable. If somebody drops a gun, though. Somebody they'd get it. Dude, That's the only thing. Cajuns are dumb. Yeah. They wouldn't even think of getting a magnet. Uncle Ed dropped his gun. Shh. Go find his. Shh. What? We're gonna go find that and sell it back to him. <laughs> All right. Hope y'all enjoy. Tobacco. You said Tabasco. It's a lock. What is that? Is that a coconut? A lock. A lock? Oh, why are you getting hung up? Why aren't you getting hung up? Because I don't throw way out there. Is it scared to skip that rope? No.
I didn't try from a different angle. Oh. Oh. oh no, buddy. Crossing like over here, maybe. You know, what if we could ask somebody to bring us out there? Okay, so Eli had been throwing out in the middle consistently, right? Now, you got hung up some, but the good thing was you found this knife out in the middle, right? I was throwing pretty close to the wharf there, but he was throwing way out in the middle, and he was getting hung up. Well, one time he got his magnet hung up, and we couldn't get it loose no matter, no matter what we did. So Eli's idea was to hook our two ropes together, tie it to my truck, and see if we couldn't, you know, get the magnet free some kind of way. And so I got in my truck, Eli tied the ropes together, I got in my truck and took off easy. All of a sudden, it sounded like a, a thinking shotgun blast. The rope broke, right? And it slung that other rope in the middle of the river. And Eli and I were both pretty bummed out because these are not cheap magnets. And uh, so Eli was a sport, and he sat there for probably 15, 20 minutes, throwing his mag or my magnet out, trying to catch the other magnet, and uh, that's where we begin this next clip. Dude, I got the rope. You do not. I got the rope. I don't have the magnet. Are you kidding me? Pull it gentle. No, it's not gonna come. It's gonna fall. Oh, maybe it's coming. Ah. Oh. Oh. Oh no! Should I go get it? Hmm. No, 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 I should have went and got it. No. Oh, no. We got the rope. Dude. Well, we don't have the magnet. Now we're back where we started. Yeah. Let's see. Let's not break it again. Bro, you're amazing. Let go. The rope broke. No, it didn't. You're right. No way. <laughs> you got the GoPro run? Ta da. That's awesome. That was all like, you, dude. I like think we should call it a day. You redeemed yourself. It is time to go. Yeah, let's go. Now, what if it would have had something good on it? Yeah, what if it would have had a freaking shotgun attached to it? Nice job. I'm proud of you. That's awesome. Eli. Value. This is our second trip in a row, magnet fishing. Yesterday's trip, pretty doggone good. Today's trip, not as much stuff. But I think the value is up. Maybe. All right, oh. show me what you got. You got a slinky. That was pretty doggone cool. All right. You don't have to play with everything that we're going to talk yeah, about. Yeah, dude. That's a um, cool toy. Point out the spark plug. Cool spark plug. A couple of shotgun shells. Empty and full. Um, a couple of weights that we're gonna use for trot, trot line weights. Oh, a yeah. Look at that giant crawfish, man. Who in the heck is fishing with that? Like but the coolest weight. thing about that giant crawfish is there's a, looks like about a 5 16 tungsten weight on it. I'm claiming that because I pulled that up. Mm -hmm. um, big rubber strap. Some kind of, I really don't know what this is. I mean, it's obviously a fish, uh, like a fish keeper, but I don't know what the hell that is. It's like some kind of homemade deal. Maybe you like tie it, hook it to something, and there's the fish. I don't know. Stop. Okay. Tons of batteries. Why do you throw batteries in the water, humans? Because they're out. I guess, man. They're batteries are like uh, a little lighter. A crankbait. Eli is super proud of that crankbait. He says he's going to clean it up and sell it to his brother um copenhagen lid lots of hooks oh little ant top hat or a bee maybe yeah uh we're pretty sure this is oh, oh i shouldn't have showed you that side we're pretty sure this is a gold nugget you should have showed we're gonna get side. that a prey i know i don't know what it is though it is pretty cool it's gold um a lock which no key with the lock and then the prize, Eli, pick up your prize. He oh. got him a knife. 
that's super cool man this is our what our third knife maybe our fourth, fourth knife to knife. found hold hold the knife up so everybody can see it's like the fourth third or fourth knife we found so that's super cool though it's actually in pretty good shape something's wrong with it but we might it tinker with it it shouldn't do that we might tinker with it and see what we can do but anyway it's too hot to fish so this is our two-day haul some of it we're going to clean up most of it we're just probably going to throw in a trash can but we had fun we killed a few hours and we helped clean up Calcasieu River from all of the litter bugs that evidently think they should just throw things in the water. Africa.